I'm Scott Al Miller. It's the 18th of June, 2022, and it is Saturday. First of all, I'm recording this on Saturday early afternoon. It is a really, really warm and bright day. It is so bright, I had to put on my sunglasses. Now, real quick, I just want to mention, I think a lot of you, when you watch my content about Nicaragua, you may have this feeling that I see the world through rose-colored glasses. And I will have you know, these are actually rose-colored glasses, and I like how they make the world look. And so y'all can just, you know, go somewhere else. I like my rose-colored world. Anyway, no, that was my, I, I, so it is so bright that I have sunglasses on. Um, I put on real shoes instead of, I don't know, what, the, what did I just discover? Look at this place. It's like some amazing restaurant. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it in this. I'm basically across the street from the Dragon Bar. I'm making a reference for this. I have no idea what I just found, but it is an amazing giant restaurant. It is, a, I'm, I'm going to get a video of this. I have to come find that later. It looks amazing. I seriously, wow, it's so fancy and big, and really nice. So, okay, so I was about to say, I am on uh, Primer Calle in Zaragoza. Uh, that's, uh, so Zaragoza is on the north side of Ruben Dario, so all the roads number up from Dario. And uh, that means it is the first road to the north, right? So it's called Primera Calle Norte, but you don't have to say Norte if you're in Saragossa, because all of Saragossa is Norte. Okay, but what am I doing? I am off for my first serious walk in a long time, and mostly because uh, of my broken foot situation. So uh, it's worth noting that it's, um, I did a bit of walking yesterday. If you saw the video, I did that walking in Sutiava, and um, yeah, my foot's hurting pretty bad today. I mean, it's not terrible, but that, uh, that's the Carinto Bar. Um, Looks like a nice place. I have been, I just want to note, I have a bunch of, like, got a note quickly. Uh, I have been down here, but extremely little. Only a couple times. Buenas tardes. Only a few times have I come through this portion of Saragossa, and I, almost never on this road, so I'm kind of cutting across places that I've gone north-south on before, and, uh, in about a block, I'm gonna head into a part of town I've never been to, and what I'm doing is I've had a bit of interest from a lot of people, including us here, uh, about the Residencial Santa Maria, uh, which I've driven through before, but never got any pictures of it and have never stopped anywhere. So <clears throat> today I am making the attempt of making the walk from La Barrio through Saragossa, through I don't know how many barrios, two or three other barrios, to get to Sutiava, north of Ruben Dario, uh, and go to Santa Maria, which is a relatively small and really interesting looking neighborhood. And I'm pretty excited uh, to be heading there and to get some video for you guys and to check it out myself. And unlike normal, I'm actually uh, filming. That is a, that's a cool house. That's a neat house. Um, I don't think I've ever seen that one before. Maybe just didn't pay attention, but I don't know if I've walked this block before. Um, I'm actually carrying my phone on me today because I'm going so far that uh, I want to be prepared just in case I need to call a taxi or something. <laughs> um, and with my foot hurting as much as it is, I got to be careful. But I also got to stress my foot a little bit because I'm heading to Guatemala in four days. Four days! And Yvonne has threatened me that my foot had better not cause any problems for her vacation. Uh, so, so I'm making sure that it's in as good a shape and I know what the situation is with it as much as possible. Uh, oh, the other thing I wanted to point out about the bright sunlight, finally I've had to put the polarizing filter back on the GoPro again to be able to handle how bright it is. Now it is, see if I can tell you the time, quarter after two in the afternoon, my phone had crashed on me. All right, check out this house. This is clearly something happened here, but what a neat spot that is. That looks like there was a fire, but you could take that structure and turn it into something really cool, really easily. So this area in Saragossa, it's not a very ritzy area, but it is like, it's very safe. It's very, Buenos Tardes, very active. Uh, it's one of the lively parts of the city. All right, I am going to keep walking because this is going to be an exhausting one. So I'm not going to film the whole way or you guys will be bored out of your gourds. Is that a thing? Bored out of your gourd? And uh, all right, see you a little bit farther down. 
All right, I'm really far down now. I'm at the edge of the barrio, uh, still on the same road. I've not turned off anywhere. I'm heading straight down. And this long wall next to me is the colegio that goes out onto Ruben Dario. So this entire block, and it must be several blocks, is just an enormous school. So it's kind of weird. You do this walk down here. I've got a doggy following me. Check this. He's been following me for a while now, actually. Um, and you come down here and you do this really long walk and the city definitely starts to drop off, much like I did on my walk the other day when I went almost to the airport. I guess it was actually yesterday that I was walking. And as you come down here, you get this feeling like you're kind of heading out into the middle of nowhere. There's always houses, there's always stuff, but it gets less and less. And then you're kind of like, what is the economy down here? Because it's so far from the city. Like, what are people doing? And I mean, you can, it, that stuff, you wonder anywhere. There's always something. Um, but like some of the houses are pretty big. There's some nice stuff. There's some poor stuff. Like it's all mixed in as always. And as I come by here, all the look and feel is changing a little bit. So I'm going to show some of this as we walk by. Um, but it's really interesting that you come down here and you're like what do people down here do but it's actually some major schools are down here now in general leon is a college town so hold on we're gonna even with the lavalier this is gonna be loud all right we're just gonna let him go around the corner there for a second but this is where we're going all right so um, Leon is a university town. It has many universities, not just one or two, but, but many. And, but most of them are in the southeast in Guadalupe or near Guadalupe, that area um, uh, of Fundesi and, and around there. But it's odd, you come way to the west side of town and other than the road going out to the beach, you're always kind of like, what is on the west side? Where we are in Laborio is kind of still attached to El Centro. So we're still part of the downtown kind of growth area, but when you start going west, like Sutiava and stuff, it's really like, well, what is this other than like a sprawl and it's towards the beach. So there is this traffic going out to the beach, but all that traffic goes through on Ruben Dario. That's it, just zips out and it's past. So this is like a weird suburb that's kind of hanging off the west side of the city and it always feels odd, but there's actually hidden off the main road, no obvious, like you really can't see it that much. There's a few universities and stuff hidden up here, including the LaSalle uh, Technical University from Philadelphia is right Right here and I'm walking past I believe this is their wall on the right that I'm coming past I think um, I'm still figuring this little bit of area out here uh, but this is really interesting so the road turned and I can actually kind of see traffic out on Ruben Dario over there so I'm really close to it but I'm about to come past a park that I've never been on this side of before so it's neat that uh, like probably a lot of professors and uh, university and, and high school administration probably live out in this area because they're close to all the schools out here. And there are actually quite a few resources in the area because of that. And somewhere behind me, there's actually a hospital. It's a small one, I'm sure, but it is the, the Sutiava uh, Hospital. So this might actually be a cemetery um, as a park. This road that I'm on is kind of covered with trees. It looks like they were doing some tree cutting or something so i'm going to turn a little bit oh it doesn't smell great out here uh so that is the entrance to the cemetery we see that from the road as we drive through heading out to the beach pretty regularly and these palm trees you see here that's actually part of the the high school over here the colegio um i'm going down this kind of dirt road that seems to just be the road behind everything. Everybody would go through on Ruben Dario, of course. If you see that bus and those cars, that's Ruben Dario, the main road. This is a very small little cemetery here. It's very cool though. All right, so I'm gonna turn this around and give you guys a shot. This road that I'm walking down is not so hot anymore. Like this is a weird little connector road. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on, um, but uh, we're gonna see where it takes us. All right, this is uh, it's all about exploring today. And this is a neat spot. It's weird, that's a bus stop right there. It's weird that this all exists right off of the main road. All right, let's, let's see what's down here. All right, I just came to the end of that little road that I was walking down and uh, you pop out onto this little bit more of a major road and major is not a, this is definitely a very small residential road, but I'll turn around and show you. This is La Salle, or as I call it here, La Sage uh, Technical University. This is La Salle, as far as I know, the one out of Philadelphia. And uh, it is a major technical university here in Leon. So this is where you go for, um, 
more more hands-on type careers I would expect you would come here for things like pharmacy uh, dental technician um, uh, I think like auto mechanics and stuff, I don't really know. It is actually, so I'm just looking at it, it is really cool looking. We're gonna walk up and get some shots. Actually, because this is this is pretty cool. I don't normally pop up into universities. Normally you can't get so close. But this looks pretty cool. You can see a little bit of what it's like here at the campus. And it's a really nice location being just uh, just outside the city. So like, if you went to school here, Obviously I walked here, so, so being able to walk to, to lots of restaurants and stuff in the town is not hard at all, uh, but it's far enough out that it's like a really quiet, beautiful campus area. I actually really like this, this is pretty cool. So the Residencial Santa Marta that I'm really interested in and the reason that I came out here is actually right here. But the roads don't connect anywhere near the universities specifically so that the barrios don't just uh, you know empty into the unis. So, um, so there's a big wall here uh, for La Salle and there's kind of a barrier over there and down in front of me there's a road that connects. So I'm walking kind of northwest to get up to that road that connects and uh, then I'm going to head in on the far side of, uh, I'm sorry, I think I said Santa Marta, into Santa Maria and then uh, come back from there. And then I don't know what this is but this is a security wall and some interesting stuff. That definitely says watch out for the dogs. Uh, that might be a residential that has come through from the other side and extends this far. Uh, it could be anything. I really don't know. Um, all right, we're going to walk forward a little bit here. And uh, I'll, I'll uh, bring you guys back when we dive into Santa Maria or, of course, if we find something interesting. Okay, that didn't take long. So this is actually the Cemetery San Francisco right here. And this is where I came from. This is the edge of Santa Maria. And the road I'm looking for is actually this. Uh, so we're gonna take that here in just a second. But first, I want to show you this giant field. Here, I'm gonna got a dog running around in this field. Uh, but if you look beyond the field, you can see some people out there. That is actually a baseball team practicing. And this is like, um, I think this is the, the track and field field, like you run laps around it. You can see the dog out there running. This is probably used by the university would be my guess. But what an interesting area. So much wide open. All right, we're heading back on this road. Here we go. <laughs> ah, the places you people make me go. It's, it's a bit wild. All right, this is, I love this area though. Like this is really neat. This does not feel like other places I've been in Nicaragua. And that's one of the reasons I like getting out into like the wide open outside the city areas because everybody always comes to the city and you drive through in the country, but you rarely get to actually be out in the country in these open areas. And I don't know why, but these kinds of areas to me feel much more like I'm somewhere else uh, than what I'm used to having uh, be Nicaragua. Not, uh, I can't put my finger on it. There's someone actually riding a bicycle around the track. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> Uh, and here we are. This is the main road here in Santa Maria. So we're gonna pop right out and be in the middle of this. And my understanding is that most of the stuff here is empty. There's certainly some people who live in the ritzy houses here. There is a, a hotel that's active here, at least according to booking. And there is a private club, like a country club located in here. But I've been told it's been closed for a while. We have this really cute doggy right here barking at me. What are these? All right. Oh, we got a beautiful sidewalk here. And uh, coming up around the corner. So this is kind of the main section here. And these are totally gorgeous houses, like really, really something. Okay, well, we're gonna start going sort of west on the kind of northern side of the Residencial and circle around and see what we find. I've got some great views. So I'm gonna start by showing you guys the field from the other side, because that's where we just walked to right here. It's a nice open area. That's the main road. I have not researched where that road goes. And this over here is the old country club facility. And my understanding is that this is very, very closed. But it's clearly like a beautiful design. 
The location is fantastic. There's nothing on the other side of the road, right? It's just all open. There's a fence and uh, now this is for sale, which I was not aware of. I'm just gonna pop in here and get, obviously people are living in there, but you'd kind of expect that security would live here. It's a major, major location. I'm sure it's an expensive property for sale. And then I'm just gonna show the road here. It's the house where I came up at and uh, lots of open space for building. I'm sure that these are available lots. This is clearly an area that was doing well uh, before the collapse, the economic collapse in 2018. And things like country clubs, of course, are one of the first places to really get hit hard um, and not be, not be able to keep functioning. So not surprising that it failed uh, and had to close unless you were completely paid off and operating on a uh, pure profits at the time, something like that would be very, very difficult to keep going. You can see this was probably the start of, or possibly the end of, um, a fancy apartment complex that also did not make it. Now, I don't think this is part of the country club over here. I'm going to head over to the sidewalk because there is a functional sidewalk here. It's not the best case. <laughs> it's not been maintained. You can see it ends there as it heads up to the club. But oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. I don't know how much you guys can see, but it is really, really nice in there. And this is just a private house here in this neighborhood. Wow. 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 Stunning. This is something. Probably someone who owned the country club at one point would be my guess. What a neat area. Very different. So, hola, buenas tardes. But there's so much open area around here. Woo! It's a good size. It was not a good size lizard, but a not a gecko. That was an iguana running at my feet, but it's just a little one and uh, ran down the, the sidewalk. The sidewalk is a good foot above the ground around it. It's really awkward. Okay, I gotta jump down on the broken foot. I'm sure it's not broken anymore. It's just really tender. And then like clearly this is a spot where you could be building a new place, right? Um, and like there's like beautiful roads. Everything's laid out, but everything's overgrown uh, and clearly basically abandoned. But then you have like these hidden mansions just sort of nestled in. Really, really weird. So I'm going to head down here just a little bit and uh, we got to figure out what we're going to explore next because we got some stuff over there. Okay, so if you're coming in from uh, Ruben Dario, from the road heading out to the, we're past where it's called Ruben Dario. Now we're out where it's just uh, Nicaragua 14 heading out to Ponoloya. Um, but you can see these um, colored uh, tires that decorate up there. That This road is pretty visible from up there uh, as decoration. And we have an actual gated community in front of us. So I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna investigate a little bit. I'm gonna check out the map. Um, before we head this way, because I've not ever been inside those gates, so I have no idea what we're about to discover in there or if we have any problem going in. So we're on an adventure. That's why you're here. Let's go. Okay, I was honestly not expecting any of this. So remember, I am way outside any place you would normally go. I went down a road that I've never seen anybody go down, except for one time we drove around down here, found a gated thing, had no idea what I was going to find walked in here and apparently I just found the zoo and one of the most gorgeous parks in the city. Check this out. And it is in use. There are people in there hanging out. It is a Saturday, obviously. So if this stuff is going to be used, this is when it would be used, but this is gorgeous. That's a whole bunch of playgrounds. I can hear kids playing all over. It's really attractive. It's all very carefully, uh, tended. It is really, really neat. Um, I have no idea what it costs to get in here or if it's free. I, I don't know. I'll find out in a second. I'm about to come up on a gate and uh, here is the signs. We have hours of operation. No kids with their, without their parents. This is really, really cool. I'm just going to step inside real quickly. I don't want to go exploring without my kids because I'm not sure if it's supposed to be parents without their kids. We got people selling like popsicles and stuff across the road. This is really impressive. I wow. Who who would have guessed that this was here? And like you never see ads for this or anything. This is something that needs to be advertised. It needs to be signs coming in from the road. There's no signage that this is here at all. 
This is consistently one of the things I can't figure out in Nicaragua is how do you find out about all the amazing things that exist? Because when I'm walking around, I'm constantly coming past amazing restaurants, water parks, things like there's an airplane here. What is this? Why is there an airplane in here? Um, uh, all kinds of things. And they're not on maps or if they are on maps, they're not explained in any way. And I mean, obviously this is not a huge thing, but it's, it's a real thing. And how would anybody find out about this? If you're not living here, um, I guarantee even most of the expats who've lived here for a really long time have no idea that this stuff is here. And if someone said, oh, I really need an amazing park to take my kids to, they'd be like, oh, I don't know. Right? Like, I have no idea. And yet all the cities probably have them. And there's more over here. Not sure what this used to be, but there's like, I have a feeling that used to be like, I don't know, parking or something. And uh, we're going in here. We're just going to keep going. This, okay, so now we're, we're truly on an adventure. This is not what I was expecting to be showing you guys today. I am loving this. It may just end right up here. It's more of these tires. Now from the map, oh, there's a road that goes through. That goes up to the other road. I can see there's people up there. We could go exploring that way, but we do have things to do and I can't push my feet too far, but we definitely have more places that we need to be exploring down here. Now, what worries me is this is listed as a zoo, like a regular zoological zoo. And this kind of gives me the feeling like maybe this used to be, and now it's gone, which would be really depressing if an entire zoo had to pack up and disappear. Yeah, those are, oh, I just hurt my foot really badly. Wow, that hurt. Ugh. Yes, so this says welcome to the zoo. There are some people up here. Welcome to your zoo at the Park Arlen CU. And uh, I, don't, I don't think that there is much of a zoo left here anymore. Very, very sad. Oh no, I do see monkeys though. And, uh, Ah, this is the gardens. Okay. I'm... Oh, there's people. There's kids. It's a very small zoo. We're just gonna pop in. I, I guess I can just go in. I'm, I'm discovering as I go. Buenas tardes. Oh yeah. Got some birds here. Oh, Hey guys. How you doing? And some monkeys over here. And there's some people hanging out. This is a very, very tiny zoo. Um, I don't know what I was expecting. I was not expecting anything, honestly. And these would be monkeys right here. Probably very hard to see on the video, but they're just hanging out, chilling. Probably not the most exciting habitat for monkeys. Okay, so this is here. Who would have guessed that this is here? I, wow. All right, I am. I don't know what that kind of bird that is. All right, we're going to head back up and go look at the houses again. I'm wow. OK, from the zoo, I came back and I'm now going up kind of the middle road of the complex. And so check out this wall. This goes way back around and it's kind of like a barrier against uh, Ruben Dario, which is right down behind me. So there is some street noise and there's a beautiful sidewalk going up in front of me. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see it before I walk up so you get a feel for what it looks like here. This is just a great spot. So first of all, this is a huge wall that we have an entrance in on the front here. I mean, we're talking seriously fancy. I don't know if we're going to get to see anything. And then this is available space, I assume, for construction here. And uh, we want to go along there as well. That, the, that traffic there, that's Ruben Dario. Okay, so we're right off the main road here. So clearly, if you wanted to build on this corner, you would want to have a lot of isolation as well. I love these twisting tree bush things that they do here. Very, very cool. This sidewalk is all very fancy. This is inlaid uh, concrete. Can't see anything in there. All we know is that is a giant complex in there that I've walked around. And uh, wow, check this out. You can just tell this is some amazing stuff in here but very private. It's tucked away so you wouldn't know it's here in the first place. And then when you get here, there's nothing to see, which is pretty cool. Nice turnaround driveway, beautiful gardens in front. Now what's interesting is 
this whole neighborhood is so tiny. It's maybe a dozen houses. Like it's, it's not very many. It's the, this is pretty cool too. I don't know how well you can see this on the video, but it's a really neat architecture inside. So it's, uh, you know, about a dozen houses that are extremely different from each other. It's a very unique, quiet, secluded area where everybody's very much done their own thing. And then there's the country club that's closed, but it must have been essentially, and I'm on moss covered sidewalks right now, just gotta, it's really cool. This appears to not be ha uh, inhabited. This must have been built as a country club and its immediate housing to go with it and then failed. And so much of it was left without finishing the construction and without, oh, the doggy has a hurt leg. He's doing okay. Uh, many people moved out and a lot of the construction was never completed. And so it seems like a beautiful, beautiful opportunity. And this upper road is clearly where the development started. So this is, seems to be finished up here. The main road has a number of, of houses along it. And I know, here, I'm gonna get another view in here from the house we were just at. I know there's a hotel operating up here in one of the houses. So clearly something's happening, but, and you don't need a lot of activity in the neighborhood because you are just off of Ruben Dario. So, you know, you can get food delivery and all kinds of stuff up here. It is not a big deal to get resources. So I guess it doesn't really matter that it's kind of isolated. But boy, is it interesting. Just, just more of my constant amazement as to the incredible variety that you find in Nicaragua. In such a tiny country, such a tiny amount of space, such a small population, and yet you can find a little bit of just about anything if you take the hunt, time to hunt around. And it's all right here. Like, this is just, well, I walked here, right? I didn't, I didn't like take a car and drive off some place far, far away and say, oh yeah, look at the incredible variety three hours away. Of course, if you're in the United States and you drive for three hours, you're going to get a lot of variety too. Like that's just normal. But uh, yeah, this is, and each of these is completely different. So this right here, this is the wall of the country club uh, on the, I would say the Northeast side, it must be. And then clearly an empty lot on the backside of the country club that probably was meant to be a house. And then that cool house we were just looking at through the gate over there. All right, we're gonna head down this way and uh, check out the rest of the upper road. Okay, I just realized earlier when we were on the other road and I was walking past the university, I saw the security gate and the high building and it turns out that has to be this structure right here and we just saw it from the other side. And to give you perspective, I'm gonna spin around so you can see where I'm standing. I'm standing at the front turnaround of this beautiful, but I think empty house uh, on the corner of the, the upper road and the connector middle road. All right, I'm gonna head down the never used sidewalk and uh, see if we can explore the remains of what's here in this tiny neighborhood. We're through the majority of it. We've seen almost everything. Gonna, gonna try to see every single structure if we can. Why not? And let's go take a look. This one is gorgeous in red. Very, very cool. There is certainly not a lot going on in this neighborhood, but there's not nothing. Considering how few houses there are, there is a fair amount of activity of people outside, which is amazing because it's so quiet. It feels like I must be the only person here, but especially when I got down to the zoo, there was all kinds of stuff going on. That is a big bird cage. Pretty cool looking spot. I just love Central American architecture. So much interesting stuff. Oh, check out the, there's a statue in there. Very cool. Nice outdoor eating spot. This is just, I love it. Love it, love it. All 
All right, we're gonna pop out over here and see what we can find at this intersection. Not exactly sure where these roads go. Oh, okay, so this is just a driveway over here. Uh, this is facing uh, east, I wanna say. And that should be south, that's Ruben Dario right there. A little bit of house, and then there's a house here. And then this is the road that connects on the, uh, it's hard to, on the, must be the southeast side of the complex. So these houses, again, huge walls. And that's kind of it. I'm not gonna go all the way down. There's just this one house here, and this is apparently the back side of it. So I'll just get a little, little bit of a shot because we've been down there and there's really nothing to see. All right, we're gonna head up around and uh, explore up that way. And I think we're gonna be done and heading back to Labo Rio here in just a couple minutes. Okay, so this house right here, all about the greenery. It's it seems like it's probably pretty cool and it's a, it's a red house. If you can see, there's not too much you can see because of the barriers. And then this house over here, very cool looking. This kind of has this Italian villa feel going on. Check that out. I can't get, I can't get too much of a shot here. I guess I can get a little bit. There we go. Look at that overgrown. What an awesome rustic Mediterranean feel that has. Wow totally my vibe that that is my vibe right there the two things i like i like that house that had no one in it um because it's that central american modern and then i like this like italian villa sort of thing these are these are my vibes i like it a lot i don't know if anyone else has that term but i call things central american modern <laughs> this is this is very impressive as a design very cool that is the community down there. And this should be Ruben Dario that we're stepping out onto right now. So this is the main road. We've got a horse coming into the community, of course. Always a horse. A horse, of course. Yep, this is Ruben Dario. So we're gonna be walking back on the main road. I'm gonna take the shorter way back. I don't need to go the extra long way through Saragossa. And uh, I'm gonna be heading back into town. You can see a little bit here just how far outside of town I am here. Now, when we looked at the Colonial for $400, that was just down there a little ways, really close to where we just were. Um, and this is, I'll show, this is the cemetery that I showed earlier, walking along here. I don't know what this structure is, but it's like part of, or next to the cemetery, it clearly was something, and it's for sale. So it's definitely not the cemetery. They don't sell cemeteries around here, and that would be weird. Uh, but the cemetery is right here. And then this is UCAN School of Construction. So just to be clear, that is the uh, Christian University of Nicaragua. That's what the UCAN stands for. And they have different camp campi around the city. And one of them is the medical school. It's right downtown. The main campus is out on the east side of the highway. And this is the School of Construction. So there's actually a university of building construction, like civil engineering, I assume, right here in Sutiava. Uh, in the middle of this little community, which again, one of the many hidden things you would never guess and lends to the local economy in a way you would never foresee. And like, even when you drive by, you're like, what is this thing? I don't know what this thing is. It's just, just some weird, I guess it says school of construction, but you have to really get up close to see that it's one of the big universities in town. It's their university. So we've got the, the main university out of Managua. I think Leon has its own university. We have UCAN, the Christian university right there. We have LaSalle that we just went by on the road up here um, and a few others. So at least those four major ones uh, are really big players here in Leon. All right, we are heading towards Marquedito, which is right up here is where the small market is, where the bus drops you off when you come in from the beach. So let's get to walking. We've got a ways to go yet. As I'm walking back, I'm actually going past the front of the Colegio that I talked about being in the back of on the other side. So I'm gonna turn around and show you, this is the fields of the school. So this is the soccer field. You see, uh, not on a Saturday so much, but you'll often see kids out here playing, see some families out there, with their dog running around right now. And then that is the school kind of up there 
sort of behind these trees. I'm going to take you guys up there and show you the school. This is Ruben Dario again, Nicaragua 14, that I'm walking along. There's a sidewalk. This is nice to walk. Um, so I'm going to take you up to the Colegio and show that as well. And right after the Colegio is the little market, the Sutiava open air market um, on this side of town, which I've walked up to in a previous video, just up to the edge of it on the east side. And now I'm approaching it from the west, from the beach side of things. So we're going to go check that out. Oh, the dog is closer. We're just going to show him a little bit there. There they are. It's a nice place to go for a walk and a great place to have your dogs out and run because where are they going to go? All right, let's go up to the school. All right, so I'm still standing on Ruben Dario. This is the Colegio right here. See kind of the main entrance. And then there is the school building, the main school building right there. A little shot of the, the campus. Now this is Saturday, so there's no kids out here today. And then this is where Nicaragua 14, this is the right here. Ponaloya and Las Panitas are down there. Uh, this is, uh, I think, San Mateo Residencial is right here. Some beautiful flowers right there. I just like them. And then here, Ruben, this is where Ruben Dario starts, and it turns into a boulevard. So it's fully split as it goes into the Barrio Sutiava. So all this is Sutiava, but this is the Barrio Sutiava here. And uh, you can just see the beginnings where those cars are up there. That is where the market is, and we're walking that way because we have to go all the way through Sutiava uh, to get back. And the school building, I don't know if you can see it, but it is continuing along here as we walk and as I fall into the gutter. All right, I am now in the gutter. Let's keep walking and not do that anymore. Okay, as I was walking up, the school's actually open, so I just wanted to get a quick shot of the grounds here. This is the Colegio Calesans, and they have the English Language Institute here. And obviously it's Saturday, but this is a beautiful spot. It's really nice. And, uh, you know, so Colegio here is a high school, um, but they teach a lot of different things. So you would go to different schools for different things. And one of the main things here, apparently, is that they teach English, because a lot of schools do not. All right, we're heading into the market. All right, we are into the parts of Sutiava where I have filmed previously. Wow, that's loud. Lots of fast food located along this stretch. People are heading to the market. It's a big place to congregate, especially on the weekends, because you can come do your shopping all in one spot. This little one, it's just all about food. You're not really going to get anything else, but you can come eat and get your produce. All that kind of stuff. I am coming past the uh, old folks home and I'm going to be in just a few seconds at the Sutiava Iglesia in case you're trying to figure out where I am on the map. I'm looking at the road for the Iglesia right now. Just right up there where that tricyclo is coming from. All right, back to La Barrio. All right, I was not expecting to find anything super interesting, and almost immediately I found some stuff really interesting. So first of all, it's Saturday, and in Sutiava, all these fast food places are open. But before we show that, I'm going to show this is one of my favorite spots is to film here at the Iglesia Sutiava. Absolutely fantastic, beautiful church, beautiful location, and it has this great plaza across from it. But the plaza is a little bit busy right now, and I'm going to get you guys a shot of this. This is where the circus is. Yeah, there's a full-scale circus in the middle of Sutiava. What the heck? Circo Mexico. There it is. That's why all these vendors are here. Look at how many pizza places are out here. I have no idea when the circus is open. I have no idea how much it is. I don't know how you go. I don't know what you do there, but it's not small. That's a good size. That's an entire city block right there, all taken up with this. There's a big top and everything. This had to be like what a circus was like in the United States in the 1950s. I can only imagine. In fact, this is probably from the 1950s. Wow. What? 
What is that? Weird, I kind of want to go now. I hate the circus, but who can resist this? I mean, really. Overall, it was a really great day walking through Sutiava, and uh, while I was going on the way back, I just turned on the camera and did some time lapse for you guys as we headed back to the house and got a little bit of Sutiava and Laborio here on the video. This evening was just hanging out with the kids, uh, and they were doing homework because, wow, it's allowed out here today. Uh, it is. Uh, because it is uh, Saturday, they are doing their homework a lot, and so um, I, I do a lot of uh, helping them with math uh, because I'm kind of the math teacher, so we did a lot of that tonight, and mostly it was a quiet night hanging out at the house. They tend to like to leave a lot of their homework until the last minute, and so <laughs> when it's their due time for all of their schoolwork, they tend to cram very heavily, and that's what we end up doing for the evening. So I did a bit of just watching YouTube and getting my own work done, and they did a lot of their schoolwork. So that was our day. Thanks for joining me. Remember to like and subscribe, ask your questions below, leave your comments, and I will see all of you tomorrow.